So it's just been revealed that a new company named Scarper has developed a new revolutionary e-bike conversion kit. So in this video, we're going to discuss what makes this conversion kit different than its competition and what we know about it so far. And just on a side note, if you like this video, maybe consider subscribing. Now, let's find out more about the Scarper e-bike conversion kit. So Scarper is a small company out of London that specializes in engineering technology. And they just revealed an e-bike conversion kit that uses technology they develop called disk drive. The disk drive is a standalone unit that's attached to the non-drive side of the chainstay and provides drive through the rear disc brake rotor, which is much different to many other e-bike conversion kits that usually require you to swap out an entire wheel, strap a giant battery onto your frame, mounting the motor onto the bottom of your frame, and usually require extensive wiring. But the Scarper only requires you to add a wireless cadence center to the bike's cranks, swap the bike's existing rear brake rotor for the Scarper's brake rotor, and mount the unit onto the chainstay. Also, the unit can be removed and installed in seconds. The Scarper has a 202 watt lithium battery, a 250 watt motor, and includes a tail light. It weighs about 3.3 kilograms, which is 7.3 pounds. It has a claimed maximum range of 60 kilometers, which is about 37 miles. And the battery should take about two and a half hours for a full charge from empty. The European model provide motor assistance up to 25 km per hour, while the North American model will provide assistance up to 32 km per hour. The disk drive technology uses the rider's cadence and road incline to determine the amount of assistance that it provides. This e-bike conversion kit is also universal, and it can be mounted on any bike that has disc brake rotors. But unfortunately, if you still have V-brakes, you're out of luck. The anticipated release date is sometime in 2023. There is no fixed price yet, but Scarper's anticipating it costing around about a thousand euros for the European model, with the North American model anticipated to be about one thousand two hundred dollars. What I like about this conversion kit is that Scarper's thinking outside the box and making a kit that can be used with almost any bike as long as it has disc brakes. And with e-bike prices being out of reach for many people, this is a really good solution if someone already has a bike and wants to convert it without having to shell thousands of dollars for an e-bike. The one part I'm really interested in is to see what kind of abuse it can take. It would be really interesting to strap it onto a mountain bike for the climbs and then take the unit off and store it in the camelback for the downhills. And I wonder if the disc brake rotor can handle the high temperatures of a prolonged downhill run. And while I think it's a really good idea, I do wish it was a little cheaper. But I guess that's what good e-bike conversions cost nowadays. With that being said, are you excited about this conversion kit? Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'm going to keep an eye out on the product and hopefully in the future I can test one out to see how it works in the real world. But until then, thank you for watching and have a great one.